Hi, um, my name is Sandra Carr Harris. I'm a, a salon uh, operator, owner, a hair salon. And I was just uh, telling Satish uh, how uh, I like to think of myself as quite environmentally conscious and aware and would like to make a difference, even though I do feel that I guilty myself for being a, a constant consumer of energy and stuff, a lot of the time, stuff that we don't need. Uh, but uh, I guess I was just thinking, reminding myself, I mean, uh, I don't do this consciously. It's, a, it's something I like doing, but it does help the environment that uh, myself uh, and my colleague Lynn here, we cycle, even though it's Toronto, all year round. Last winter it wasn't uh, so cold, and we, we cycled all winter except for five days because there wasn't too much ice on the side of the road. Some winters where we can't cycle for at least two months, but that was a real treat. So that... That certainly helps, um, but uh, I just turned off the lights just because I, speaking to Satish, he, you know, we're discussing, but yet yeah, sometimes we take all these things for granted and, uh, you know, trying to make a conscious effort to save energy, and it, it's expensive as well, but if I make a barbecue, if I'm cooking something for an hour, I will bake potatoes on the side as well as cook the meat or whatever else I might be cooking or roasting just to double it up, um, try to do my laundries at night, that sort of thing. But I still have, uh, you know, some dark clouds hanging over that I'm aware of that uh, things that I could uh, do better. I, I, I know I, I do have issues because I do specialize in hair color and unfortunately the organic hair colors don't lighten hair, but I'm in the process of looking into ways of using a more organic hair color based dye to at least uh, stain the hair, get rid of the gray, and uh, somehow separate the highlights. Uh, but that's just an example right now that I can think of in my life. Uh, my children, they have been brought up being quite aware of, you know, environment, uh, pollution. Uh, uh, I'd like to see them uh, make more of an effort in recycling and uh, and, and not cons I mean they're pretty good about turning power off but I see a little bit of laziness I feel that I am the the main one in the house who's turning down the air conditioning I mean it's good to sort of feel the natural environment you don't have to live in you know a perfectly cool place in the summer I mean uh, you can put a fan on as well turn the air conditioning up especially when you're not home and then the winter I mean you don't have to have it super hot wear a warm sweater it's it's better to feel a little bit of the natural environment I mean uh, or at some point we're just going to be uh, as they say the scientists may be boiling out of control and we won't have you know any relief anyway so those are a few of the things that I just had to say right now Thank you. Sorry, I, I blathered. But when I work, I do take a few days off. I, I don't work uh, Sunday or Monday, so I do turn my air conditioner off here uh, when I'm not here for a few days. But that can be a problem too, uh, using extra energy to cool the place down. But since I do have a few days off, I tr you know I turn everything off uh, when I can at my business, and and sometimes I don't turn it on to cool the place down. And the first. The first few clients that will come in are a little uncomfortable, and, and then maybe I will say, well, you know, think of uh, you're contributing to, <laughs> uh, you know, supporting the environment in a positive way without draining on. We're bad enough washing all that stuff down the drain, whether it be shampoos or, but I mean, we have to wash our hair, but right across the board, I don't know. It's, it's good that uh, mm -hmm. people like Satish are, you know, uh, using this as a, you know, their passion right now and, and maybe helping uh, the masses uh, be a little more conscious and hopefully make a difference uh, collectively. So that's why I can say, oh, well, that doesn't matter, or my children, it doesn't really matter if I separate the garbage well enough. But if everybody's throwing, you know, uh, mixing it all up, uh, it, the garbage is, and it's not actually, they're contaminating it so it can't be recycled properly, uh, but if, if everybody collectively is a little more conscious about not having, like we've got the lights off right now, our client's not here, we didn't, you know, I, you have to remind yourself. And quite often when you do that, there, there's so much excessive heat 
And look at it, it's a nice soothing environment, naturally. And I'm very lucky here that I have natural lighting, so that's uh yes. Okay. All right.